Hi, you can guess it, we are here in the Czech Republic at HPH and we're gonna meet the CEO Jaroslav who's gonna give us an exclusive tour inside his factory. I'm gonna collect a shark, but first we're gonna inspect how a shark is born. See you later. So Jaroslav is already waiting for us. Come with me. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Welcome in our dream house. I'm super excited to see what it looks when the glider is manufactured. A nice little detail here. Um, whoever is good in biology may know that the shark has five to seven gills. And this is also a analogy here on this glider. Very good glider, which can be a little bit predator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was my life dream to be so perfect like previous glass legal company. And as a glass flugel pilot, I can totally agree with you. So let's head straight into the assembly, I guess and uh, see how this one is manufactured. So Jaroslav, where are we now? We are in a laminating shop, which is basically the biggest room in our company. Mm -hmm. It's about 1,000 square meters, and we produce here mine parts for our gliders. This means wings, fuselage, and of course small parts too. So the name Alcatraz here may be from the lack of windows, but this has a reason because we are here laminating with temperature critical materials. And in order to keep a constant temperature throughout the day and the year, we have on the south side of this building, no windows. Check it out. So in summertime, Jaroslav told me that they produce 70% of their electricity from their solar panels. This tower here has a couple of rolls of glass fiber that you are yeah. using in the production. So which parts of the plane are gonna be produced with this? Yeah, special parts where we need uh, some flexible connection because glass is much more flexible like carbon. Mm -hmm. Glass should be used for higher safety by uh, canopy frame, uh, fuselage frame, landing gear and so on. Okay, so the first community questions that we have is how many meters and square meters <laughs> of carbon fiber do you use in each shark? So this is the carbon fiber. This is the carbon fiber rowing. Mm -hmm. which have many small yes oh my god uh, mm -hmm. inside yeah. yeah your question was how many meter we need a uh, many meters we need about 20 kilometer of carbon rubbing in each glider yeah because you have there are four mine spar and each have about 100 layers because you have up or down and so yeah. it is much more like 20 kilometers. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. And lay up, of course, you must yeah. running here, mm -hmm. there and back, yeah. Yeah, with each carbon so layer. So the employees yeah. actually take a string and then walk? walk they walk, walk with... So yeah. you're walking 20 kilometers to just distribute all these layers. Can you imagine yes. walking 20 kilometers? We have here fitness, <laughs> fitness studio. So we just saw the materials which you use for production of the mines bar. What I see here needs a little bit more explanation. So what are you using this type of, I feel like this is a bag textile. Yes, <laughs> well, here Utah, it's make our channels for vacuum bagging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very mm -hmm. important thing. Under you need this fleece mm -hmm. and it takes some epoxy resin inside. Yeah. This means this is for channel and this is for consuming soaking. Yeah. So this is my favorite material. The peel ply is used to create a flat and even surface and after the laminating, yeah. it's gonna be removed. What is this, Jaroslav? 
Yeah, this is one of cloth which we use for glider production, aramid cloth, mm -hmm. which we use in a safety seat and safety cockpit inside. Mm -hmm. You cannot see this in glider. Okay, in why do you not produce the entire glider out of aramid? Is it too heavy? Everything together. It's not too heavy, it's too strong. Mm -hmm. You cannot normally kit it. Very dangerous are Fibers? small parts of this for breathing. Now we are here at the main character. This is carbon cloth, which have a very high stiffness. Mm -hmm. It's for mine design of fuselage and wings. This is typical material for today, high performance glider, because stiffness is much higher like glass, and you can make a good, strong gliders. Yeah. And I see here there's the mixture out of Kevlar and carbon fiber. And we have seen earlier in the broken nose that I showed you. This is the reason why you use it, because if you used only the carbon fiber, the edges would be much sharper and you could hurt yourself. Let's go and see the next step. So I don't know if you have wondered this before, but how does the white fiber turn into green? Uh, it's simple. You put there uh, epoxy resin, mm -hmm. and this white color it's coming in like in glass. Mm -hmm. You n not see this, and by several layers, it's a little bit green, because glass is basically a little bit green. Yeah, and you can see here on the fin different layers. This is glass. Bleep play is over. Yeah. Inside is foam. It's for stabilization, yes. sandwich platform. Mm -hmm. Here's one piece of carbon. You can see here some special glue, which is protection for water, because we have here tanks for waters. Yeah. Uh, why it's just a fin of glider designed from glass. Because glass. of the antenna, or? Correct, oh. for antennas, <laughs> cool. because Carbon is not very good for antennas. Yes. And we put here about four or five units of antennas mm -hmm. exactly in fin. Where's the other half? Why do we not produce it as a whole? We produce two halves because mm -hmm. it's more simple. You cannot put everything together in one step. And you can see now left side. And all glider is usually designed so that in one side is just layup. Mm -hmm. And this layup, interesting, is hand layup. Mm -hmm. People must take a cloth, put their resin with rolls and putting with molds, negative mold and vacuum back mm -hmm. on it. After it's ready, we start with uh, ribs. This is, for example, aramid box for metal white. If you fly solo or two-seater, you need some weight in yes. the fin. It's coming here. And then you need in fin some water. We have here two, two water tanks. Ah, yes. Yeah. And for this reason, is here another color. Here are micro balloons inside. And this water is compensation water in wing. Mm -hmm. And this water make compensation for Boy. weight, mm -hmm. yeah, pilot weight. Yeah. yeah. I think the question that most of us want to know, Jaroslav, is how long does it take you or the workers to finish the whole plane. And one glider cost us at least nine months work. So when a shark is born, it takes nine months. So similar at to least. a human baby. Yeah, <laughs> at least. We're going from fuselages mm -hmm. to the wing. And as you see, it's a completely different thing. Here is much more important accuracy. For this reason, we need a complex mold. Mm -hmm. We're starting production from this pin and this bushing. Yes. This is very fierce part of all glider. This must be exactly made. And this bushing have tolerance H6. Mm -hmm. This is most complicated thing. You must found fixed point for this pin and fixed point for this bushing. If you have two fixed points, then the rest is easy. So this room is my favorite one because this is nice and warm and cozy. Yeah. So this yeah. is the perfect Julia temperature. Yeah, <laughs> 35 degrees. And you can see here mine parts for wings. Yeah, after laminating in negative mold, 
each mind spiral must be exactly the same. And this is how a shark is born. Here are going all parts from lamination to pre-assembly. Here is pre-assembly. And here we cut all wings and fuselages ex on exactly shape. And we put wings and fuselages first time together. Mm -hmm. yeah. All production, mind trick, is that you make a little bit bigger part, mm -hmm. yeah, because you cannot cut cloth and resin exactly. Mm -hmm. Make part a little bit bigger and then you must cut it by hand again. Mm -hmm. Handwork, yeah. you must make a nose exactly. And mm -hmm. this, this is just resin mm -hmm. with uh, cloth. The dry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So a key takeaway that I learned here with the wing production is that it's a reverse production process. The paint is the first thing that is applied into the mold and then you laminate the wing. So what's the reason for that? Reason is very simple. It is like by cooking. If you want something good, you must start with good raw material and then you cook. Here you spray up a good color in negative mold, mm -hmm. then make first layup, first cloth is glass, then carbon, then you put inside all pipes and stirring and mind spar and wires and everything in. And then you put both half together. And if you working exactly, you have good wing. Mm -hmm. It's very easy process. Yeah. yeah, super interesting. So a little fun fact here, the CNC machines from Haas are the same ones as Rolex is using for their luxury watches. So we're using high quality machines for the production of all the metal parts of the HPH gliders, which are for example pedals, push parts and also the landing gear. Can you guess what this part is? Mm, it's from the air brakes, so this is going to be cut in such a machine here by water and you have here all the corners really, really clean cut with a really hard water stream. <laughs> so Jaroslav, what is that? This is central mixing for all glider, mounted in glider behind landing gear. Mm -hmm. And basically this is most important part of plane because all wings are flexible, fuselage are a little bit flexible, and you cannot transfer movement from air, from flexible wing to the ailerons and flaps. Yeah. For this reason, you need so complex thing in middle. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud that we make this all with CNC machining and water cutting. So we're finally in the final stage of the assembly. What we can see here are various cables and the cockpit setup. The engine still has to go into the fuselage. And what we have here is a central computer cable which is going to be connected with the engine. And here you can see all the wiring that's going on in the cockpit. So a glider nowadays is mainly electronics and an engine. Talking about the cockpit and CNC machines, you can see that all the signs are engraved, which is great because the sunlight will not damage anything and it's all nice and clean, same fonts and really durable. So I love how the finish is done with this glider. I hope you enjoyed this factory tour. In the next video, you can see me actually flying the shark for the very first time. And in this video, you can check out the evolution of the shark going from libella to this predator. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.